Now what what I want you to use your imagination and I c complied a, some examples of the general application and then the applications specifically for remote sensing for collecting the remotely the data. So in agriculture, the example is what I said before, the UAS that can be equipped with the fertilizer and pesticide dispersing equipment and it can be used to spray over either large fields or can be can target specific areas that uh, they know that the disease is present. In telecommunications, so it can be used as the mobile relay uh, platforms, for example, in disaster zones or where the regular uh, transmitters have been destroyed. The emergency telecommunic telecommunication can be based on the drone, um, uh, the transmitters uh, on the drone. There is also new news broadcasting. This topic is a little bit more complicated since it's illegal in the US to fly over people. But the techno from the technology point of view, area of ego of feeds or news e for news events, it is possible. They have also been, I, th I think, two waivers from this rule. So there are two agencies that are uh, can can fly over people legally. So the news broadcasting would be um, uh, would be possible in this way. There is also air traffic control and ground traffic control. Uh, so not only you can see here the little police drone um, that. Uh, in the areas where you cannot get by the regular by a car because of traffic you can monitor this traffic by flying with the drone uh, you can also monitor the air traffic in this way mm, you see here over the, uh, the highways it can be also used to capture the violation of the traffic rules there is an, a lot of new development uh, of the mineral uh, exploration uh, of the use of the UAS in mining. It can, uh, it can be used for aerial survey to find minerals in hard to reach regions, but it can also uh, be used in existing mines to map extracted material volumes. For coastal monitoring, it is uh, because the coastal environment is changing so rapidly, it the dynamic, um, uh, the dy mapping, dynamic mapping of the shorelines and the post-storm system is crucial and can be conducted uh, with the drone really uh, easily, even in the hard to reach areas, which are common on the coastline. What about the UAS for remote sensing? In the agriculture and environment, it can be used for crop monitoring, for vegetation mapping, for forest fire uh, monitoring for even for animal detection. Uh, it can be also used for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance. Uh, reconnaissance. It, it is um, uh, the thermal imagery is widely used for uh, detection of lost people um, in difficult to access situation in the mountains or uh, support fire brigades in the real time crisis management and the rapid disaster management. It's also used um, for uh, for surveillance uh, in the military context. The aerial monitoring and engineering focuses on infrastructure inspections, uh, but not only. Uh, it also can measure the wind and landslides and everything that is connected with the spatial data. There is a huge area of development uh, of the UAS mapping and cultural heritage. The, mm, this, the archaeological sites change rapidly. They're, the archaeologists dig there every single day and they need to monitor the change in terrain. And because of the high resolution that they need, they, uh, they can deploy uh, drones and they can map the structures, they can map the, the archaeological sites, they can map the change in, 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 in terrain. Um, and they can also create a 3D models of man-made structures of the heritage. They can monitor the erosion on the buildings. And then there is um, the general surveying and mapping and photogrammetry 
for cadastral applications. Uh, all the spatial uh, uses of the OAS start with just general surveying, but then you can apply the results of the surveying for different areas, and they have the, there is a multitude of applications. This this simple cadastral surveying um, will can be used as an alternative to the traditional surveying and the chi precision parcel boundary determination. Although there are still a lot of questions about the precision and the suitability for um, um, for the uh, from the safety purposes, if it can you if we can actually rely on the data. For example, if you measure your parcel to build a house, you probably would need a higher precision that uh, you are just monitoring the um, development of the road, like, oh, how much did we build it today? It's not about millimeters. It, no one's lives rely on that. So this is still an alternative, not a total replacement of the me terrestrial measurements. And an extended review on the use of the UAS in remote sensing, it can be here found here in the article. Article is pretty long and it usually just lists, oh, this and this research was conducted on that and that and link. Uh, so you can actually, di it directs you to the what you uh, are willing to know. It's impossible to cover all the uses of the UAS in one article. It just, uh, it just points out the areas that you can explore later.